Hey, how's it going? It's Sean Bradshaw from CyberFret.com. And in this lesson, I'm going to show you a little Jimmy Page lick, one that I lifted from his solo in A Whole Lot of Love. Alright, so this is out of an E blues scale. I'll talk a little bit more about that here in just a second. But what we're going to do here is start off with a bend on the third string at the 14th fret. And you're going to bend that up a whole step, the equivalent of two frets. So we're bending the 14th fret up until it sounds like the 16th fret. The next note is the first string 12th fret, second string 15th fret, second string 12th fret. So all of that so far. Next we're going to do uh, a pull off from the 15th to the 14th to the 12th fret on the third string. And finally, we're going to play the 14th fret on the uh, third string, 12th fret on the third string, and then finally end with a bend on the third string at the 14th fret going back up a whole step. So. Now on that last bend, I, I kind of switch over here and use my second and my third fingers for that bend. And uh, that just kind of gives me a little bit more support there as I'm doing a vibrato. You could just as easily do that with your second finger like I started out with. Or you could even do the whole thing where you start off with your uh, second and third finger for that bend. And so it's kind of a matter of, of personal taste and you can kind of mess around and you know probably as I play this lick I, I kind of switch between the different ones at different times so hopefully I didn't do that in the beginning but here it is that lick one more time slow and then up to speed. So like I mentioned, this lick comes out of an E blues scale. And so here's a basic way to play an E blues scale up at the 12th fret here. And so there's some other note choices you could use if you were kind of soloing. This is a, a great one to, of course, play in, a, in an E blues. If you did want to move this to a different key, just keep in mind that kind of the centering note for this lick is that note that's on the first string at the 12th fret. That is an E note. So if I wanted to play this whole lick in D, what I'd do is just move down two frets. All right, so it's, it's a movable up and down the neck. You just need to know which note that you want to kind of focus on and, and know what the name of that particular note is. And in this case, that's the first string at the 12th fret if you wanted it as E, you know, at the 5th fret if you wanted it as A, you just need to know what those notes are on that first string. Alright, so here's a basic E blues scale. And first I'm going to start with kind of the traditional fingering for this where it's one finger per fret. So I'm going to go 1st, 4th, 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 1st, 3rd, 1st, 3rd, 4th, 1st, 4th, 1st, 4th. But for this particular lick, um, I'm, I'm doing a, some bends here and a lot of times I keep my thumb up on top when doing bends. Alright, that just gives me more leverage for my bends. But when your thumb's up, kind of your fourth finger becomes a little bit more useless. 
all right? So a lot of times, if, if you've got to use your fourth finger, you're going to bring your thumb down, so you're going to be able to reach things a little bit easier. But uh, for bends and things, kind of that old school bend style is thumb up top and using a lot of first, second, and third fingers. So the fingering for this blues scale for that kind of style, you might try this, going first, third, first, second, third, first, third, first, second, third, first, third, first, third. All right, so have some fun with your new Jimmy Page lick. Have a good one.